John Eats Cheap going to try something in the air fryer today. I know a lot of people like chicken strips or chicken breast. And I thought, you know, let's make them more chickeny. First, we'll season them up with my clucking good chicken seasoning that I make homemade. And then we're going to bread them with chicken and a biscuit for the breading. How about that? I don't know. We're going to find out if it makes it extra chickeny. So first up, I took a whole chicken breast and just sliced it into, into tenders. I'm going to season those up. See, there's like big old real chicken breast strips. And this is my clucking good chicken seasoning, some seasoned salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, a little soul seasoning that's got a little bit of heat to it. It's really, really good. All right. Now. We'll put a link to the recipe. All right, link to the recipe. And you know what? I see I missed a spot right there. Can't do that. All right, seasoning is ready, so I'm just going to put these off to the side. Now we need to prepare our breading. Let me wash my hands first. So here's what we do, and we happen to have some chicken and a biscuit left over from an earlier experiment, where we found out the generic or the Dollar Tree ones are just as good. I thought so. Mrs. Cheap didn't think so. So here's what you do. Just put a little, little in a Ziploc. Make sure it's a heavy-duty one because you don't want it to break. And then we're going to just take a rolling pin and brush them out. And hopefully it won't tear because that's a bummer. And just pulverize them. Pulverize them in there. Shake them down. Hit them again. This is cheap. Oh, go ahead. You can have one. Just one. I've also seen people, I know my aunt... My Aunt Candy used to bread her chicken. She had a chicken recipe that she breaded it with Ritz crackers. Kind of similar to this. Come on now. That's, that's pretty good. Cut it as fine as we can. It's not, it's not going to be as fine as flour. It'll be, but we want it to be about like a panko breading. I'm going to go ahead and finish, finish these up and uh, get our bowl full of breading and we can get going. So we have our seasoned chicken strips. There's our, uh, ooh. there's our uh, ground up chicken in a biscuit. So we're gonna take the strip and I've got a plate with wax paper here ready to put the finished product on. So let's put them in two at a time into an egg wash. I've just got a couple of eggs and just a little bit of water. And then we Put them in here, it's just like panko. Only it's chicken and a biscuit. It's like really flavored panko. And just push it down in there. Get it coated on as much as you can. And onto the plate. Number two, number two. Chicken strip number two. Don't don't think that, Mrs. Cheap. You're, she's shaking her head. No. Nothing wrong with that. And there we go. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to get all these breaded. And then we'll spray them with a little canola spray before we put them in the air fryer. Now I mentioned I'm using the, the boneless chicken breast, the whole breast that I cut into pieces. If you don't want to do that, you can buy the, the chicken tenderloins. They're a, well, they're a lot more expensive at the store because they're already trimmed and cut. You could use, uh, you could use regular pieces of chicken. I just think these are a lot easier to eat. But, uh, you know, you could certainly bread wings or legs or thighs. Boneless thighs would probably be good. Mrs. Cheap and I are fans of that. So the air fryer is preheated. I'm going to put the first rack in. Come on now. Make sure it's not crooked. And the second rack. And then I'll flip these around a little bit. Well, not a little bit. I'll flip them around. And we'll also flip the chicken strips. So I'm going back in. It's, it's 370. Right now it's at 18 minutes. We'll just keep an eye on them. All right, we're 10 minutes in. Pull these out. They smell unbelievable. I think they look pretty good too. I'm going to flip these over. 
This is the top row. Boy, they smell good. And now get these flipped over. See, these didn't brown up as much because they were on the bottom, but now they'll brown up more on this side because they're going to the top. All right. Let's see if I can get these up here. There's so many shelves in this air fryer, it's tough. And down below. There we go. All right. Ooh, I better brush the crumbs off of there. Making a mess. And we'll let them go for, uh, we got eight minutes left. So we'll try eight minutes or until they're golden brown. All right, we went 10 minutes. We rotated and flipped another eight minutes. That time is up. I'm gonna check them. And I think I think I have an idea for what I'm gonna do for the final push to cook. Just wait for the alarm here. Come on. There we go. So there are those are, uh, those look pretty good. Now see, these can be a little more brown because these, I flipped them, so they're more brown on that side. So I'm gonna leave these this way up. And I'm gonna put these this way, put the brown side face down, and I'm gonna get them all on one and let that air really circulate around them, all right? And we'll, we'll finish these off. I'll put them down low, get them in there, and we'll do them, whoops, we'll do them for the last, uh, oh, we'll say six minutes. Six minutes, that would give us a total cooking time of 24 minutes. So 270 for six minutes. 24 minutes, I hope they're done. They look fantastic. By the way, I have the I have where you can do three levels in the air fryer. If you have the basket, I would just cover the bottom of the basket, cook them 10 minutes, flip them. You know how to do chicken strips, right? All right, here they are. I hope they're okay. Those look pretty good. I'm gonna bring them over here. Yum, 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 yum. Hot, 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 hot. And you could use other crackers. God, Mrs. Cheap and I were talking. Some of the flavored crackers now that are, you know, chipotle, hot, lime, whatever. There's some really good flavored crackers. Oh, I gotta get my tongs. I'm back. Okay. Let me try and get a good one here. Get a good one. Come on. All right. I'm gonna cut into that baby. I hope it's done. Mrs. Cheap will. Knock me silly if we gotta cook them some more. That looks done to me. So let's try that. Chicken and a biscuit, chicken strips. Oh, ha! And it does not disappoint. I'm gonna have a little ranch. So these cook 24 minutes, homemade. Hand breaded chicken and a biscuit gives us the flavor. And look at how nice and brown and golden those are. These would be great in a sandwich too, you know, mayo with a pickle if you want to make them like the chain sandwiches. Very good. That one's a thumb up. And better than just flour. Could use a little salt and pepper maybe. I don't know. A little bit of heat if you want. That's it, I'm done, we're eating. Thanks for watching Johnny Eats Sheep. Mm -hmm.